everybody, Mr. On Man here, Man with Master Plan. And uh, if you're looking for some uh, photo editing software, uh, GIMP 3.0 finally arrives after seven years of incubation. This is uh, some pretty cool news right here. And naturally, uh, there are some big changes since 2018. It's been a while since we've seen an update to this software. Uh, so going over, uh, here's a little image of what it looks like. The major update to GIMP uh, has arrived today and it has been finalized the release for GIMP 2.1 from its duty as the premier free and open source image editing software for multiple platforms. We only recently crowned GIMP as the standard for free image editors in a comprehensive comparison article. Now with version 3.0 hitting mainstream, it might become unsustainable. GIMP, the GIMP's team originally focused with the introduction of the long-awaited version 3.0 of the photo editing application was to overhaul the user interface. However, over the years since the last stable release, they have naturally piled up features, enhancements, and other tweaks. Starting with the interface improvements, the GIMP team says that the move to the GTK3 GUI library means that there is now much better UI scaling and high DPI screens, which could be an issue with 2.1. Users will also benefit from mouse wheel flat flipping between dockable dialogues, better dark theme support, and a way to tone down motion and animation UI effects. Moreover, Tablets are now being supported. The new application runs natively in Wayland X11, and there are a host of other fixes in this domain. Major new features for the release are extensive, but we think the highlights of the new release beyond the UI include an additional feature like non-destructive layer effects, improved color management, bolstered file format support, and refined text support. GIMP's mascot, Wilbur, has also had a new lick of paint. The goodies don't stop there, as users will also see a multitude of usability improvements. Popular features such as layers, channels, and paths have had developer attention as we as have workflow concerns and shortcuts. It is also worth mentioning that the introduction of off-canvas editing where painting tools can auto-expand and canvas as you create. A little picture here showing you a little information of what the program looks like. Re-engineered GIMP roadmap. Uh, let's see. All right. So, um, yeah, I mean, for those of you out there looking for something free to take care of some photo needs, this is a definitely a good tool. Uh, you should probably go check it out and download it uh, and go ahead and get it for yourself. Um, the, uh, you know, the software is probably very nice. Uh, I haven't tried it out yet. I just saw this article and wanted to let you know because I had a couple of friends uh, that are, you know, obviously do a lot of artwork and they said, yeah, I mean, this is really cool. You know, another tool for us uh, that's obviously free. So um, I will do a full uh, video once I've actually had time to, to dig into it and use it a little bit. Um, I'll do a full install video and show you how to install it. And uh, But you should just be able to freely search for it and download it and install it. It shouldn't be hard at all uh, for you to be able to get a hold of the program. If you have it and are using it, and if you like it, let me know down below what you think of the software. If you don't like it, also let me know why you don't like it and why uh, you you think... Uh, you know, maybe something else is a better option. Obviously, paying for uh, some of the expensive expensive photo software out there can get a little crazy. So um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day and uh, see you later.